a stranger. Uh, oh, man. Uh, thank you, uh, Hollywood Foreign Press. This is really a wonderful honor. Um, I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so challenged up here because there's so many people to thank. You know, I mean, it's a collaborative art form here. Uh, I, I'm gonna, I've gotta, I've gotta thank some folks. I gotta thank my, my sweetheart, Sue. My God, 45 years of support and love. I wouldn't be up here without you, my dear, and my brother, Bo. Sister Cindy, your love and support. And how lucky are we to have our folks, man? Lord and Dorothy, ah! Thank you, I, I, we're in your cuffs, Dad. We're in your cufflinks. They're your dads, too. And, uh, oh, man, um, I've got to thank my representatives. I don't know, we're we wave your hands, guys. I want to see if I can. They, they're keeping the whole the boat afloat. I can't. See ya. There, there they are. Yeah, David Schiff, Rick Kurtzman, Gene Sievers, Bob Wallerstein, Liz Darling, my trusty assistant, Becky Pedretti. Uh, who am I forgetting? Uh, oh, uh, uh, Frank Page. Oh, you know who I gotta mention is Lloyd Catlett. He's my stand-in. We've done uh, uh, close to 70 films together. Can you believe that? He's the thread through the whole deal. Uh, you know, starting from Last Picture Show, man. And speaking of Last Picture Show, I gotta uh, thank uh, my, dear, my dear friend, Peter Bogdanovich, who kicked the whole party off for me, man. I, I, I'm so blessed to have him uh, start my whole career. And uh, let's see, well, the brothers, the Coen brothers, come on. I mean, true masters. Uh, you know, if I'm lucky, I'll be associated with a dude for the rest of my life. It's, I, I feel so, uh, you know, honored to be a part of that film. Great movie. And um, let's see, well, look at my brother, Steve Clovis, right? Fabulous Baker Boys. First time out, he comes up with that great movie. Got to thank him. I got to thank um, Scott Cooper. I don't know if Scotty is here tonight, but crazy heart. Yeah, man, huh? Scott, man, sets a great vibe to make wonderful stuff happen. And, um, oh, another first-time guy I was so lucky to work with, the late, great Michael Cimino, uh, who uh, directed uh, Thunderbolt and Life, but that was his first movie. I can remember going into his office the day before we started shooting, and I said to him, Mike, Man, I am sorry, but I think you made a terrible mistake. I'm not feeling this guy at all. Um, I feel so inadequate. Uh, you know, I, I'm giving you late notice, I know, but you know, please fire me, you know. And he looked at me and said, Jeff, you know the game Tag? I say, yeah. He says, you're it. <laughs> I said, what do you mean I'm it? He says, you are the guy. You couldn't make a mistake if you wanted to. You know, the life of this character is coming through you. You, you know, it's a done deal. I said, oh, all right. That's a wonderful vote of confidence and, um, and a great perspective to look at this thing. And I used it, of course, in that film and all the other movies that I've done, as well as my life, you know. I've been tagged. I guess we all, we all have been tagged, right? We're all alive, right here, right now. This is happening, we're alive, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, uh, being in the life of the movies, you know, I kind of look through my, uh, my life through the filter of movies. I find directors and fellow actors um, all over the place in my life. One, Guy, he had nothing to do with the movies, but he's, um, I've taken a lot of direction from him. Uh, that's Bucky Fuller. And uh, Bucky, uh, you know, he's most, he's most famous for the geodesic dome, but he made a great observation about these ocean going tankers. And he noticed that uh, the engineers were uh, particularly uh, challenged by how to turn this thing. You know, they got this big rudder, it took too much energy to turn the rudder to turn the ship. So they came up with a brilliant idea. 
let's put a little rudder on the big rudder. The little rudder will turn the, you know, the big rudder. The big rudder will turn the ship. That little rudder is called a trim tab. And Bucky made the, the analogy that that, tr that trim tab is an example of how uh, the individual is connected to society and how we affect society. And uh, I think, I like to think of myself as a trim tab. And all of us are trim tabs. We may seem like uh, you know, we're uh, not up to the task, but we are, man. We're alive. We can, we can really, we can make a difference. We can turn this, we can turn this ship in the way we want to go, man, towards love, creating a healthy planet for all of us. So I want to uh, thank uh, the Hollywood Foreign Press for tagging me. And I wanted to tag you all. You're all trim tabs. Boom, tag, you're in it. Thank you.